Alright, before we start talking about Ninja's career, I just want to mention I do want this video to be considered as a video of me just hating on Ninja, just talking crap about him. I just want to bring up some facts. I'm also going to make sure my head isn't fully in the frame because it looks awful, my haircut is awful. But let's just start talking about Ninja. I'm pretty sure even if you're like a very big fan of Ninja and you respect him, you're standing Ninja for the whole day, you definitely realize this happened to him. Ninja is nothing that he used to be a few years ago. This doesn't require a lot of knowledge, a lot of research, it's clear. His channel is kind of similar to mine. By that I mean dead. Have you ever seen a YouTube channel with around 24 million Godam subscribers not even hit 100,000 um, views on YouTube? Like man, sometimes I think my YouTube channel is dead and then I just see this. Like man, Ninja was everywhere. I remember seeing little kids wearing Ninja t-shirts. It was goddamn incredible. This person who used to be nobody, or like I'm not gonna say nobody because he was a very big PUBG player, but the person, you wouldn't expect somebody like this to blow up. But everybody knew about Ninja, even if he didn't like Fortnite, everybody knew who Ninja is. I remember his stream with Drake, that was incredible. He also streamed with many other rappers, football players. He won a pro-am tournament with Marshmallow. I don't think anybody achieved as much as Ninja did in those few years. You could say he's the best Fortnite player without over-exaggerating. That dude really was the best Fortnite player. Nobody stood a chance against that guy. He was really the best. Not like all of those goddamn Instagram comments, oh, the best Xbox player, the best PlayStation player. Listen, if you're actually the best Xbox player, if you're really the best um, PlayStation player, I want to see you in the next World Cup. Going back to Ninja, he was loved more than anyone on the internet during 2018. But all of what is good, unfortunately, comes to an end. I've seen people start disliking Ninja. It started off with Ninja pointing out that aim assist is overpowered and just constantly, constantly complaining about aim assist. Controller auto aim, dude. Dude's on controller. Sick, dude. Let me hand. Look at that. Oh. Guys, I'm fucking hacking. This is actually me hacking. <laughs> it do not matter. You cannot hide what's inside. Oh, okay. Let's try this out, shall we? Then people started hating, people started saying, console life matters too. You know, just pretty much making a Twitter riot about him calling out aim assist. So that's how the ninja hate started, but it ended up, I think this thing just kind of had a big imp impact on his career. Ninja started getting a lot of backlash after the famous stream sniping clip. Watch for the emote, watch for the emote, watch for the emote, emote, emote. Guys, no, nope. this guy is no. Nope. Oh my god, dude. Wow, dude, look how good he's at building. Look wow. at him, he's showing you. He's showing you, you the way, dude. Wow, look how he's good he's the way. building. Oh, There's the oh, emote, man. there, there the it is. There it is, dude. There the four is. player. Stream sniping. You gotta love proof, you know what I mean? You gotta always love when there's proof. You literally- bum, bum, What bum, an bum, idiot! Bum. How stupid can you be? IC5, if you leave this game right now, I will not report you. If you leave, if we witness you leave, I will not report you. But I will guarantee your ban if you stay in this game. I said leave, not die. I said leave, not die. Didn't you go Leave this game. Uh, 
Alright, send me the message right now. The player wasn't actually stream sniping, and I'm pretty sure there are some theories that Ninja actually got few players banned of the game. I'm not sure if they're true, I'm not gonna say they're true because I obviously don't know. I remember he definitely called out a lot of players. Some probably weren't stream sniping, some were, but he just became hated for accusing everybody for stream sniping. This is going back about talking about his YouTube channel and kind of his Twitch channel, that Fortnite gained more requirements. You have to be very good at the game because otherwise people won't watch you if you aren't funny. The videos had to be edited more, but at the same time Fortnite was really going downhill after the middle of 2019 I believe. Ninja, the best Fortnite player, got outskilled over and over again. People just simply got better. And as I said, many people on the internet really just like watching the best Fortnite player. And this also affected his YouTube channel performance. He was getting millions, and I mean millions of views. That was incredible, his Fortnite videos. They weren't like Laser Beam, like Lachlan. They were just cut out of his stream. No editing, unless you consider that intro editing. That was the only thing that he did. And that used to get 30 million views? Each of his videos got more than 5 million views at one point. And you may say, there are a lot of unedited videos I watch, but those videos are probably around 2 minutes, 1 minute of something very funny happening. He uploaded raw footage for about 20 to 30 minutes, and it got views. Like, you wouldn't see this happening on YouTube nowadays. But whatever game he played, which wasn't Fortnite, didn't really get any attention. And the next move I'm about to mention, killed his career. Moving to Mixer. For money, I guess it was worth it. He got like a lot of money, like I don't know, like I'm pretty sure I would do it too. Microsoft pretty much thought by getting the biggest streamer ninja that they would actually make the platform better, make it more popular. They could make Mixer something compared to Twitch or YouTube live streaming. And guess what, that didn't quite happen. <laughs> Ninja's peak viewership on Mixer was about 6,000 viewers. On Twitch he used to peak 30,000 before his switch, but that was only the peak. He sometimes got as low as 2,000 viewers. Yes, yes, this person has like 24 million subscribers. He played with Drake, he played with Marshmallow, he's only getting 2,000 viewers on his streams. Like, 2,000 viewers, that's still a lot, but you can really see the downfall. And now he streams on Twitch again. He gets around 7 to 10,000 viewers, he streams League of Legends as of now. Looking back at his channel a few years ago, it definitely isn't the same thing. Ninja stopped being this special person on Twitch. He just, he just, he's just kind of forgotten at this point to be honest. Tommy Innit. That, that guy. This happens when you wear headphones, this is why I'm gonna quit wearing headphones. My head is dent. But I guess this was a quick video talking about Ninja's downfall. I still have a lot of respect for the guy, sometimes I just tune in on the stream. Just listen to him talking. I make Minecraft videos, commentary videos. I'll give you a picture of my um of my homepage. If you think you're gonna like the content, make sure to subscribe. And this is it. Peace out guys. Have an awesome one.